Hi guys, the lava is still sliding down the slide of fire at Stromboli. Stromboli, the volcano Stromboli and the island Stromboli that has the same name because basically the island is the volcano and there are spectacular new pictures and videos guys that I want to show you because this is a very impressive volcano and what the scientists are saying what is happening i mean this guy always does things like this on a regular base but what has happened since july 3rd and it's still ongoing it's out of the ordinary and they're saying they have never seen anything like this before that's why they are worried that something bigger might happen at stromboli but for now i want to show you what the Laboratorio Geophysica Experimentale in Italy, the LGS, um, has released. They have new images, basically how this river of lava, this glowing lava stream is running down the slide of fire into the water. And of course, if water mixes with lava, it gets explosive. It creates a lot of steam and a lot of gases, chlorine gas, everything. And it looks amazing when you have the dark slide, the glowing lava and the white steam. And what they're saying, they posted this on Facebook and it was recorded it's brand new so at the moment when I'm making this video this is what's actually right now going on there on July 10th 2024 and they took these pictures when they were inspecting the eruption at the Schiara del Foco the flight of fire this department is the basically the department of experimental geophysics department of earth sciences at the university of florence of course it also looks spectacular during daylight but not as spectacular as during the night so the pictures they were taking on july 8th when they were inspecting this slide of fire it still looks impressive and it's of course it's a different light scenario but you can still see the big clouds that it is producing when that lava meets with the seawater. And it seems like I'm pretty sure it's either a drone or they have taken these pictures by boat. But if they have taken the pictures by boat, they said nobody should be there with the boat because if there is old debris, for example, or more lava coming down that slide or some parts of the craters are collapsing and are sliding down very, very fast into the sea, it can create a tsunami and then you don't want to be close with your boat so they say if this happens and you're close drive out with your boat as fast as you can and I want to show you this video of some boaters who took a video of something like this happening at Stromboli and look at that black cloud following them I mean they were really speeding to get away it's like end of days I showed you this video in my last video but I want to show it again because it's absolutely spectacular and then, you know, on July 4th, when these vents opened and everything was super, super steamy and ashes were spewed into the air, um, they have solar panels on top of the mountain that basically power their instruments, their measuring instruments, some cameras and, and equipment that the LGS is using there. And they have released pictures where you can see how everything is covered in this brown stuff. So they they're saying it's ash and it's due to the presence of this water vapor that is happening when the lava meets the water. That's why all this stuff was getting up in the air. And then after that, it has very, very quickly become solid mud because that's how it looks. It looks like stucco or something that is really covered. Doesn't look volcanic, right? You'd think it'd be darker. So that's why the solar panels were completely unusable and also the camera components and they said in order to avoid interruption of their data flow um, which is very important because that also includes their tsunami warning systems because they need to know what's going on on that slide if something's all of a sudden intensifying or breaking up and falling down there because then they need to trigger that tsunami warning but the problem is due to lack of power they had a problem
They sent their team up there on the 5th, on the 6th, and on the 7th of July um, to clean, to clean the mud from the instrumentation. And they were able to restore the full operation of the monitoring network. And I mean, if you look at that picture where you see the solar panels that are covered in mud, that's basically up on the mountain and down below, you see the settlements, right? There's not many people living on Stromboli, between 400 and 800, sometimes it varies. But if it's tourist season, there can be up to 1,500 tourists on the island. And there you see some more pictures of their equipment. I mean, it really looks like not fine dust. It looks really as it's, it's getting stuck, like someone really was building like a clay home or something. This is how it looks. It looks like wet clay that did dry and it's, it's really built a crust around their instruments. And there is another angle. And isn't it amazing how that crater on top of that mountain, it looks like you're in a different country. You're like in the desert or something, very arid, but that's how it looks. So they posted this before and after picture. And there you see, they did a good job cleaning it until the next mud is coming from the slide of fire and there they really have a close-up i mean imagine this these are solar panels and you see all that dust i wonder you know in the picture the solar panels look clean but they still look a little dusty so does all that dust scratch the surface and harm the solar panels or even by cleaning the solar panels wiping that off does it scratch them and and uh, hurt the functionality of the solar panels if you know, let me know, guys. But I thought I'll show this to you because it's it's interesting. And what I also want to show you is they also have released a video from another angle when the lava was or is sliding down into the water there. You can really see this massive dust cloud. And maybe that explains that brownish mud because there the clouds kind of look like brownish sort of stuff so that's a good video too where you can see it from an upper angle coming down it looks like someone was standing there or was this filmed by their equipment um i don't know but you definitely see that pyroclastic flow with like lava particles like stone rock particles being spit into the air and the problem is when something like this happened in 2019 one hiker that was up on the mountain it was an experienced hiker but he got hit by all these rocks that came at him at speed and he died so don't underestimate that stuff and something else that i want to show you as well because I mentioned it in my last videos, some part of that crater did fracture and then slide down causing this massive pyroclastic event when it was going into the sea. And they have also released very interesting pictures that outline the events of July 4th. They have highlighted the fracture of a part of the crater in their sector of they call these sectors, I'll show you here, they have some thermal images where you can see the sectors. So it was coming from sector N E and sector C. And that has really modified the summit of Stromboli, of the whole mountain. It has modified the morphology of that summit area of the Stromboli volcano. So it has changed forever. So you can see the pictures here and they have also basically the big picture there, you see the crater and you see the outlines where it was before. First picture, these, you see these black dotted lines. So in the first picture, it's still intact. And then second picture, you see it's gone, but you still see these black lines that outline it where it used to be. And then third picture, same thing. And then on the right of this picture, you can see basically the steam and, and the event when everything was sliding down into the sea. And that's why it was so intense. And that's the tsunami risk. 
that you do not want to be on the coast. They say if you're on the beach of Stromboli or somewhere, get to higher ground immediately. Because as you can imagine, this tsunami doesn't have to travel far. It's right there. So you have a few seconds. So you always have to be aware. I mean, if you're a tourist, don't be on Stromboli if there is something like this going on. The residents probably know about this. And they have stopped bringing tourists to the island, of course. And here's an interesting video that they have released from their summit thermal camera from July 3rd. And you already see it's a little bit cloudy and dusty, so the picture is not as clear. But they also say this was the activity that it did show on July 3rd um, when there was the partial collapse of the crater wall terrace, so to speak, um, in the section N. E. And you can see it in this thermal camera and you see it's all over a sudden, it's getting more intense and then it's flowing and it's spilling, it's spilling, it's spilling and then the stuff is sliding down and Eddie's just having a conversation with Rudy below me. That's why you hear the gnarling, <laughs> the sound. So interesting video as well. And here is the whole event on July 3rd when this partial collapse um, of this terrace in the NE sector happened is from a, a speed camera. It's a time lapse, basically. You, so you see it from another angle. You see it coming down the side and then how it gets into the water. So that's also like an interesting video for you to see so that you really understand what has been going on at Stromboli. And then here is the whole thing. It seems definitely from a boat, from the water. Um, I have seen it as a post from the newspaper Wanted in Rome and, and it, seems, it seems the video was taken from Il Mondo dei Terremoti. So they did that video. It seems there were reporters on site or are they scientists? Uh, I don't know, but there you see the magnitude and how impressive this really did look, guys. And you know, now that we know how it developed, we knew the thermal images in here. I always find it interesting to see things from a different angle because it looks really different. And now you can see it from space. There are these sentinel pictures. There you can really see how the mountain is bleeding, how Stromboli is bleeding. And as you notice, it's not bleeding from the summit, from the top, it's bleeding halfway. So down the slide of fire halfway at a height of 480 meters, it was cracking open. It's about 900 meters high. So, and then it was running down from there and which could cause instability of the whole crater of this volcano. So guys, that was another quick Stromboli update and it will be followed by another Etna update because Etna's erupting as well. And I found interesting information about that as well. So if you're new here, please subscribe so that you can watch all my updates. And if you're a repeated viewer, thanks so much for coming back to my channel and for being here. So guys, as always, stay safe, stay cool. Rudy just sits next to me. I'll show him to you in the, one of the next videos again. Um, I don't really dare to put him on my lap right now because Eddie is here and he'll probably be angry, but maybe should I dare? Rudy, what do you think? He's looking at me. I'll try, guys. Wait, but you know, it could get loud. I tell you this. Okay, Rudy says bye-bye. <laughs> He's angry. He's angry. He doesn't like that. So I think he needs to go. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>